2004 Chrysler Town & Country van and uh, he was running just fine. We ran into a strange problem where it wouldn't start one day and uh, we found out what the problem was. Let's see we've got uh, two keys here. These are electronic keys. This is an older key. It's kind of dirty looking. And this is a newer key. So anyway, try to start it with this new key. There. So it starts and running fine. Now, I've got this old key here. You can see it's the same key. They're cut the same here. So it's exactly the same key. So we try to start it here. Oh, here's another thing about this key. This back cover keeps popping off. There's nothing in there. I don't know what that means. So anyway, try to start it. There, it stopped. See there? Try to start it again. Starts. Runs for five seconds and quits. See? Now, uh, I just got this van about a week ago, and I was using this newer key, and it was running just fine, and when I test drove it, is running fine. I thought there was nothing wrong with it. And then uh, at some point I decided to put the newer key away in a safe place and just use this older key. And I got, I drove out in the country and to a house and uh, came out afterwards. And uh, it must be that I must have used the newer key driving out. Then I used the older key trying to come back and then the van would keep dying. So the first thing I thought was, well, maybe the battery cables are dirty. So I cleaned the cables, tried to start it, and it wouldn't start. And then we jump-started the car, and it was the same thing, start up for a second, then, well, actually it got to the point where I tried to start it about a half a dozen times and the battery went dead. That's when we tried to uh, jump-start the car and I couldn't get it to turn over for some reason. And uh, we found out later the battery was going bad. So I had two problems there where uh, I used this old key and the car wouldn't keep running. And I kept trying to start it and then ran the battery down and then tried to jump start it and then had a bad battery. So I couldn't get the battery to charge back up. So I ended up towing the car into to the garage and then the garage determined that it was this key that was not recognized by the computer in the car so it shuts the car off so here I'll do it again here's the old key so it shuts off and uh, I was thinking it was either the uh, fuel pump going out all of a sudden or something wrong with the ignition or the fuel injection or something not getting gas or not getting a spark but here I'll switch keys now and use the uh, newer key. Put it in here. And there it's just running fine. See there? And you switch keys to the older key. And it quits. So anyway, if you have a problem with the Chrysler Town and Country, where for some strange reason it won't keep running when you start it, and it just shuts off after a few seconds, then uh, you'll have you should uh, consider the key. Also, it's possible there could be other things: your uh, ignition system or your fuel system in the car, or maybe your computer or something but in this case it was this old key that was not any good 
and part of the reason may be that there's nothing in it. There should be an electronic uh, circuit board in there and a battery. It looks like this for a battery. That should all be in there and that allows it to be recognized by the uh, computer in the car. So it's a safety factor so that if someone tries to steal your car with a uh, maybe by uh, jimmying the lock or something or if they had a key that would somehow work in there to keep them from stealing it. 